first time I saw it, my question was, is it made out of salmon? Number one. And number two, does it smell like fish? If you're new to my channel, my name is Ohima. Welcome. If you are a returner subscriber, hey. So I know I promised you skincare. I haven't promised a new skincare for, I want to say a few years now. So in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a brand called Biro. And I had never heard of this brand until they sent me a box. And then I mentioned the salmon cream and a lot of people in the comments were like, that salmon cream is the bomb. You should definitely use it. You should try it. So I figured today's the day. I'm also looking for a very good moisturizer to use at night. So like I I'm willing to try it and if I do love it like a lot of you love the salmon cream then guess what I have found a new moisturizer to use because right now the one I'm using is completely empty I'm using the Murad City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer I have been trying to make wine out of water but this thing is empty like the little pump thing is here like there is nothing else left in this except for me to just use my hand and scrape whatever is left in there so all the products I'm going to be using or showing you that I'm empty in this video is actually going to be linked right here so definitely tap that view products tag and you're going to be able to shop it directly here from YouTube let's go ahead and jump into it okay First, I need to cleanse my skin, okay? Byro did send over their Kiwi Detox Gel Cleanser. This cleanser was actually made in Korea. It says that introducing the Kiwi Detox Gel Cleanser, it retails for $38.00 achieve clear radiant skin with a hydrating gel foam cleanser designed to deep clean while leaving skin with an instant glow it has triple acid complex it has aha bha and pha alpha hydroxy acid beta hydroxy acid and polyhydroxy acid of course you're, you're hearing this and thinking oh my god that's a lot of acids in one product it's going to strip the skin right off my face no it's generally only supposed to stay on your skin for a minute or two depending on how long it takes for you to wash your face and you're supposed to wash it off and once you wash it off it's off your skin it's saying that the aha bha pha decongests your pores and clears breakouts it has green boost which intensely hydrates kiwi to brighten and even your skin tone and arnica flower to soothe redness and inflammation this is what the cleanser looks like the color on it is nice it's not about the packaging, right? It's about the actual products in there. It has like little specks of the seed in there. It has a very subtle, subtle scent on it. So my cleansing round is wet. I'm gonna put a little bit of this. But let's go ahead and cleanse. I like these rounds because it's not as harsh as a face towel. I know before I used to say, oh my God, you need a face towel to exfoliate and cleanse your skin. That way your skin doesn't get like textured. But what I realized for me is that if I'm using a face towel, I wash my skin too hard and i end up like burning my skin so i moved on to face rounds and these rounds work very well for me but it's gentler on my skin okay i like to wash around my eyes and in the corners of my nose so if you find that your makeup looks more textured and you find that your nose makeup looks textured and like your whole skin just feels like it has tiny little bits of uh pimples or something on there in my opinion it's because you're not exfoliating your skin enough i'm not an esthetician but if I don't wash my face with a face round for about two, three days, so a week, my skin gets rough, then my face is not so glowy, and then my makeup just would not look so good. I believe in manual exfoliators. It just is what it is, okay? I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, we have a serum. Okay, so we have the bell pepper serum. Definitely given bell pepper vibes, okay? And one thing I realized about Biro is that most of their products are named after food. Do you know what I mean? Like a food of some sort. The bell pepper serum is a fast absorbent fluid serum that intensely hydrates and retains moisture for a healthy looking glowing complexion contains sika an ancient medical herb medicinal herb known for its reparative properties nourishing ceramides to fortify the skin moisture barrier brightening vitamin c for that sort after radiant youthful glow mm. first few ingredients are water and glycerin so this is a hydrating I guess 
uh, formula with a little bit of a vitamin C factor in there. So it's good for dry, normal, oily, combination sensitive skin. And if you have redness, acne, blemishes, and oiliness, then you should consider using this product. Definitely boasting a lot of really good things. And I'm really interested in trying this. I want to know what it feels like on my skin. And I'm actually very happy that I let my skin dry down a bit before I'm going to go in with it because I want to see how it changes my skin and what it looks like after I put it on. Okay. So this is what my skin is looking like. My skin is dry because obviously I didn't put anything on it. Now, generally I will tell you that if you're going to put a serum on, you should make sure that your skin is damp. That way the clean can go a long way. Okay, so this is what we're looking like after the serum. If a serum dries out your skin after you apply it, stop using it. Right now, if I was in a hurry, I would definitely forget to put a uh, moisturizer on because my skin already looks and feels hydrated. One very cool thing about this specific packaging is, do you see the top over here? When I, when I closed it, the top went back in, right? But when you open it, it goes ahead and it pops up so that you can, you know, do your thing. It doesn't actually keep any products in the pipette when you close it. It seems like when you close it, it pushes up out the product so it's not just sitting in the pipette. I've been talking for a while and my skin still looks really good. This is the cream that shook me the first time I read the name. This is called the Salmon Cream. First time I saw it, my question was, is it made out of salmon? Number one. And number two, does it smell like fish? I mean, like why would a brand put out a product that smells like fish, right? Packaging is given Lux. It says that the Salmon Cream is a revitalizing universal moisturizer that awakens skin for an incredibly vibrant looking glow. You can apply it to your face and neck morning and night and can be used daily. Definitely read instructions on all your skincare products before you use it, like for the first time. And also if you're going to add it to your skincare routine, definitely go online and check whether or not the products can work together with without giving you a bad reaction. The first few ingredients on here are the same, water, glycerin, it's telling me that this is going to be a hydrating product. And of course it says that it has some protein in here. It feels, it's very creamy. It's not thick, thick, thick. I'm only gonna use this much. Let's go ahead and blend it in. No, it doesn't smell like salmon. <laughs> Definitely lightweight. And yes, my hands are ashy because when I'm doing skincare, I'm not going to put moisturizer on my hands and then touch my face. Definitely add some of your moisturizer to your neck and your chest, okay? Also add, also add some of your exfoliating products to your neck and your chest, okay? My skin feels good. Feels a little bit tacky. The Biro Skincare. My skin looks... My skin looks good, it looks hydrated. I don't feel any tightness to the skin. I want to come back so we can talk about it. I want to only use these three products. <laughs> Lord, what am I doing? I'm definitely gonna have to add an exfoliating product to it. I'm gonna have to either use my daily exfoliant, which is this one, or my two like really big ones every other day because I cannot live by hydrating products alone. Like I can't do it. I'm just going to be honest with you. I cannot do it. Mm. I need salicylic acid in my skincare routine. <laughs> yeah, the Lawless Overnight Plumping Mask. It's literally almost done. I'm almost about to hit bottom. My skin looks really good. It's not oily. It doesn't feel oily. It's still glowy. That being said, there was one other product that Biro sent my way, and this is the Tea Collection, and it is actually a body oil. It says, resurface, renew, and glow this fast-absorbent treatment oil body oil rich in antioxidants and vitamins derived from the purple teas and fruits that gently nourish for dewy glowy looking skin of course it has jasmine lavender butterfly pea flower that lock in moisture and boost cell turnover it has bha and pha it has glow 7 oil complex and a purple fruit infusion i tried this on my hands the very first time when i was unboxing it and I really like what it looked like. It actually hydrated my hands. The one thing that I get a lot of comments on is what my hands look like. So when I'm doing my makeup and I bring my hands in there, like on every single video, there's gonna be at least one comment talking about, oh my God, your hands are horrible, or your hands this, or your hands that. Because like my hands have always been wrinkly hands. It's been like this forever. Listen, I have my mother's hands and I'm not ashamed of it. She works very hard and we have naturally wrinkly skin like even when i was a kid 
I used to like try to figure out how I could get my skin to look nice and smooth like some of the girls at my school. I'm going to use this and I'll try to use this on a daily and hopefully it will help me. Okay, let's go ahead and wash my hands to introduce some moisture. And we're going to use some of this body oil. It has a very subtle smell to it. it looks purplish. <sighs> I will definitely apply this before I go in with moisturizer. Because my hands are dry, I feel like if I can seal in the water, which is a moisturizer, right? If I can seal in the water before I put any kind of a moisturizer on, that's definitely going to help my hands stay hydrated for a very long time. Time. I definitely moisturize my cuticles more now because of press-ons but before press-ons I never actually took the time to be like oh let me put some oil on my cuticles to like moisturize them and I've noticed a, a big difference in the peeling of the cuticles I'm gonna have to force my mom to start hydrating her hands more because she doesn't do that and I can tell like her hands are starting to crack I don't like that for her but look at my hands right now looks very hydrated they very wrinkly like my hands are gonna be wrinkled forever Ever and ever and ever it's not going to change it is a big insecurity for me when I'm doing makeup but I have to talk about it more so that it's not like such a huge insecurity for me my hands are my hands are wrinkly can't help it I'm gonna go in with the the Roche Posay triple moisturizing cream oh, that tea oil smells divine if my hands feel very nice with the two products that i used on there if i can keep this up i feel like my hands will at least be hydrated I mean, that's not going to be wrinkly but i feel like they'll be very hydrated and it might look better than it looks it looked when i started first impressions of the biro products they feel very good on the skin and I am going to use it for this whole week. I'm going to use it this whole week and I'll come back and we will see exactly what my skin looks like. Like I said, I'm going to have to add some kind of an exfoliating product in my routine. Let me know down below in the comments if you found this helpful. Let me know down below in the comments if you've tried any of these products, how you like to use it and what you think about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in a week with how my skin behaved using... Bye, Ro. <laughs> Bye.